Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to Rituals. Perfect. Okay, so in today's video, we're doing Rituals Money Talks. Haven't done one of these segments in a while because we've been doing gaming videos lately. But for those that follow the channel, or those that haven't followed the channel yet, my channel's about car content, sneak reviews, money financial tips and gaming but today we're doing some money financial tips and today's video we're going to be doing a simple budget using the numbers app on the mac now this numbers app is also available on the apple iphone as well as the apple ipad so it's on all your os devices or i or ios devices with that being said i done a video on this about a year ago um and since you know apple does updates to their apps and everything the, some of the templates have changed, so I figured I'd do a refresh video of this. But if you would like to, you can go back. I'll put the link up here for the video I did a year ago on how to create a simple budget. So with that being said, let's dive right into today's video, the updated version. And before we do, guys, do me a favor. Please hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell so you'll be in a loop when I post new videos. And go ahead and smash that thumbs up button for me right now. Thank you guys for your support. Greatly appreciate it. With that being said, let's get to the video. All right, so first we look at the housing, um, the rent, mortgages, taxes, insurance. Um, it's calculated pre-tax already at $1,500 per month. Um, after doing some research, the average mortgage payment um, going right now is like $1,275 on a 30-year fixed mortgage. And it's $1,751 on a 15 year fixed mortgage. <clears throat> so the median in 2018 was around 1556 for the typical American, you know, they spend on their mortgage. And um, so yeah, with that average, let's also kind of take into consideration people with rent. So the median rent is $1,500 per month. Um, this is taken as of a US median as of 2018, September 2018. So let's do 1500 for just people who pay rent and mortgage. Groceries, um, it was lately at 500. I'm just gonna reduce that to 400. Just play around with the numbers a little bit. Transportation, and I'm just gonna keep that the same. Let's just say that's like gasoline or something. But before we do that, let's go to the paycheck. The average median household income is $68,703 in 2019. So, what we're going to do is divide that by 12 because there's 12 months and we're going to get a monthly, let's say a monthly paycheck of $5,725. Remind you guys, this is just a simple budget. So I'm just throwing in like the U.S. medians on numbers just to give a simple aspect of how to create a simple budget. All right, so let's go back down to the money out section. Um, let's see here. Let's look at transportation, we've got utilities, utilities like electric um, bills and gas bills and everything just combined. Um, let's just do 300, 200 seems a little bit low. Um, dining, travel, entertainment, we'll just leave that as, alone. That's kind of like if you want to go to the movies and see that. that's your pie chart, basically telling you how much money is going out. Um, education, uh, the average college loan repayment is $393 according to a report in February 2020. So we just use that number for the education portion. Uh, let's see here, transportation. Let's just label this as gasoline. Um, it'll make sense in a few seconds because I'm also gonna show you guys how to add stuff to this money out section. So now we're gonna add a row below. And when we add a row below, let's label this as auto insurance. And let's see what the median is per month for auto insurance in the US. Right now, so currently around $120. I'm gonna put 119, because that's what it had. So just put $119 for the monthly rate of auto insurance. Um, once again, I'm just using medians for the USA. Let's see, let's add a row below the groceries. And let's figure out the auto loan. The median auto loan in 2020 quarter two is $568 according to Credit Karma. You see our pie chart is updating. So let's see here. 
and you notice auto insurance right now is not on the pie chart later in the video I'm going to show you guys how to make that pie chart adjust and add everything in the chart so right now let's talk about cable TV I use YouTube TV so I'm going to reference that it costs about $69 a month for the base then we're going to add another row below and we're going to add Netflix because just about everybody's using Netflix now and I think they just went up on that rate. I'm going to say it's around $20. I'm just going to do an estimate. Yours may be cheaper. Yours may be higher. But I think it's around $20. Now, let's add another row below. And let's see what we're going to do here. Uh, let's do cell phone. Everybody has a cell phone. So let's do cell phone bill. Cell phone bill, every cell phone bill is around $70 according to US Mobile, a blog site. That sounds about right. And um, so now you're seeing I'm adding things, but the pie chart, once again, isn't adding. But uh, I'm going to show you guys that if you try to add below that footer, you can add a row below, but it's not going to calculate your total expenses. So you want to add rows below and above above the total expenses though in order for this to work correctly so let's add savings because everybody should be saving money and you should at least be saving 10 percent of your income so 10 percent of the monthly paycheck would be 572 dollars and 50 cents but we're just going to do 572 all right so everything is looking pretty good right now looking like the standard household, what you guys think? Got housing, got groceries, got all loan, gasoline, utilities, dining, entertainment, education, college loan, auto insurance, YouTube, which is like your cable, Netflix, streaming service, cell phone, and you got your savings account. So total expenses so far is $4,461. Um, that's your money left over be around $1,264. So basically your money out minus your money in will give you your in, your income minus expenses. And once again, like I said, you see you have your labels here that's, that are color coordinated. Um, you know what? Let's say we paid off something. Let me see here. See how you can add a row, you can freeze rows. But let's say we paid off something and we want to delete a row. Uh, what do we pay off? Let's say we we paid off Sally Mae. Sally Mae no longer is getting money from us. We just delete it. And see, it's gone. Education is gone. And then let's say, oh man, I took out another education loan. I got another one. Unfortunately, I had to go back to school. I had to pay another college loan or whatever the case may be. And then let's say we want to add it. And this could be done with any of the bills. I'm just using this as an example. I think the median for college loan, I think it was 393, I believe. Yeah. So we add that right back. And you're saying, well, it's not there. Why isn't it there? It was there before. Why isn't it there? So we have this beautiful thing here where we hit the preferences. So it's showing you all everything on the pie chart. And then you click this section, edit preferences again. See there? Now, that stuff is there. But as you can see, the bottom section isn't highlighted. So we need to highlight all of the sections. And there you go. Now you see it's all added. And that's how you add it all to the pie chart and the color coordination. You can change the colors too with those drop downs. So I want to thank you guys for watching another episode of Rituals. Hope you enjoy that. Hope that helped you guys create a simple budget. Um, very useful. You guys got a budget. Um, speaking of budget, I wrote a whole book called Common Sense, A Simple Guide to Money. Um, I'll put the link in the description below. Great book. Teach you how to create budgets. Teach you how to manage money. Teach you how to um, invest. Teach you how to increase your annual income. Great book. Um, it's doing very, very well. So go ahead and give it a read. Like I said, I'll leave a link in the description below. And once again, thank you guys for watching another episode of Rituals. Before you head out, if you haven't done so, please hit that subscribe button. Do your boy a favor. I greatly appreciate it. And give this video a big thumbs up. You guys have an amazing day. Peace and love. And we out.